Yo, yo. So let's see. How do yeah, we still have 15 minutes. So how do landmarks help us understand our country's story? Read about what one national landmark teaches us. So let's see what this natural a natural beauty. It is a famous landmark in the United States and it's huge. It is one mile deep and 10 miles wide. It was carved out of rock by the Colorado River. It stretches across parts of four states. What is it? It's the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. I thought that was... Uh... Korean? Korean. Korean. It's just like a pan that is, is you mean, right? You know what I mean. Crayon? Yes, crayon. Oh, crayon. Yeah, it looks kind of like it. It's just Are missing a... O? An R. So an R before the A and then just erase the end. Okay, like so raise the hand and add a, a C. No, add a R after the C. Right. Okay, your turn, Alita. A national beauty. This is a famous landmark in the United States and it's huge. It's one mile deep and 10 miles wide. It was carved out of the last by the Colorado River. Colorado? Colorado. Colorado. Colorado River. It stretched across the parts of the four states. What is it? It's the Grand Canyon. Okay, good. So, in one of our science uh, lessons, we saw a picture of the Grand Canyon. I don't remember if you. I don't know if you remember it, but we'll see a picture of it soon. So I don't know what is a Grand Canyon. So this is the Grand Canyon, this picture right here. So it's just like a like a huge rocks, and they kind of create like this big hole in the middle. So maybe we'll see more pictures of it. For people to get in? Uh, no, it's just how. People, well, people actually go hiking here. They climb the rocks and everything. They really need some water. Yeah, definitely. Okay, exploring the canyon. Many tourists visit the Grand Canyon. In fact, almost 5 million people take a trip to this national treasure each year. People come from around the world to hike the dusty trails. They take boat rides down the Colorado River. They gaze across miles of massive red and brown cliffs. Nature lovers visit the Grand Canyon too. They come to look for animals. They peek at the hundreds of different kinds of plants. They may spot eagles and sea mountain lions. They may spy snakes and spiders, and some may even see bats. Some visitors also come to learn about the canyon's history. I can't believe it. There is lions. I will not go hiking, but hiking is fun. But lions, not at all. But they usually, the lions are usually, they're usually scared of humans. So, and, and also they come out when the sun is coming down. So as long as you hike, you know, during the morning, during the day, you should be fine. No.